Monday, November 4th, 1963. The, uh, over the weekend, the uh, coup in Saigon took place. Culminated uh, three months of uh, conversation about a coup, comma, conversation which divided the government here and in Saigon. I was uh, shocked by the death of Zim and Nu. I uh, feel that uh, we must bear a good deal of responsibility for it. I began talking to a former Viet Cong and also to North Vietnamese POWs and also communist political cadre. Well, it was amazing to me that uh, they had a rather high opinion of Zim. They would constantly tell me he was the only true nationalist on the Saigon side. It's so ironic that he would be accused of being corrupt. There wasn't a corrupt bone in his body, which is probably what cost him his life. They started with me on Jim, you remember. Yeah. He was corrupt and he ought to be killed. So we killed him. We all got together and got a goddamn bunch of thugs and we went in and assassinated him. Now, we really had no political stability since then. The war goes into a tailspin immediately after the coup, and it's a tailspin that they never really recover from. Zim became increasingly difficult in the last months. Nevertheless, over a 10-year period, he held this country together. He was an extraordinary character. If he had not been in politics, then we would be perhaps sitting here talking about his holiness, his spirituality, what I would call mysticism. Tôi thấy rằng uh, cố tổng thống với đối với tôi và với nhiều người Việt Nam thì đó là một viên quan chức tận tụy hơn nữa là một lãnh tụ xuất sắc à, phục vụ vì quê hương.